Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just watched the first episode of La Brea. Um, it's on ABC, NBC, I don't know. <laughs> That's just how much I paid attention. Um, interesting? Not sure what I think about it yet. Um, it's kind of like they're like the movie The Lake House. Honestly, I never watched it. Um, but it is like that, where like there is like a central point and these people communicate between the past and the present. I don't know. If you don't know anything about it, there's like the first five minutes have been released. You can watch it on your own. Um, they fell into a sinkhole. Like, a bunch of people fell into a sinkhole in the middle of LA. And... Uh, the ex-husband is um, able to, he has a connection to that world, so he's able to see the people over there, and I, I literally just watched it, and honestly, I can't, like, describe everything that happened. There's weird animals there, like, they, they found birds that escaped from like the um, vortex thingy. It looked like the northern lights really and it's like a light in the sky that they came out of. And they all just woke up there and they're not injured from falling like 20,000 feet or something. And like these, these birds came from it that are extinct. Um, there's like a saber-toothed tiger in there, so it's like all these old-time things, and the preview even said like, where are they and when are they? And like, they've discovered like, well, this is the Hollywood Mountain, and how is it here? And where is here? Because this is obviously not Hollywood, so I don't know exactly what's going on. But, it seems pretty interesting to me. Um, the acting was a little, eh. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not buying it. Um, I'm hoping it gets better. I'm willing to give it a good college try, but I don't know. I I just hate getting invested in new shows. It's kind of risky in the fact that I mean you're only out of time. But if you end up getting hooked to it and then they drop it, that sucks. So you get like hooked to things. Like there was this old show, like it's over 10 years old, um, Flash Forward, where like they saw the future of everyone dying and they're leading up to that and trying to prevent it. And it was good. I liked it. And But there was a lot going on. Um, very complicated. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, that they were able to connect all the dots. But anyway, they dropped it. It lasted like one season and that was it. And they completely dropped it. So it's like, it's hard for me to get invested in shows. Like, something like this. Because it's like, is it going to last more than one or two seasons? And are we really going to get like a conclusion? That's my biggest thing. I'm into like conclusions. So for me, I'm afraid that I'm going to get invested and... We'll never know the answers to anything. It's odd that the husband's connected. Supposedly he had an accident in his aircraft that he's flying for the Air Force. And he's been having hallucinations since then. But really his hallucinations are connections to the old world. And there's someone that's been trapped there for years. At least it suggests that. Because they're like... They look like they've been living in the wilderness for a long time. I don't know. It's only an hour long. Um, it's all on Tuesdays. Check it out. I'm sure they'll redo the first episode. And like I said, you can get like the first five minutes. It's been an annoying thing on my YouTube channel, on my YouTube videos I've been watching because it's like, and now the first five minutes of the Brea. And it's like, <sighs> and so then I have to, like, if I'm just like listening to Kate Boga or something while I'm working. Then I have to like stop what I'm doing, go by my phone, because I have like wireless headsets, and then I have to skip through it, because 
I can only watch the first five minutes of La Brea so many times. That and Haunted Killer. I get so many Haunted Killer advertisements or like the dealer in commercial. There's just, no one needs a five minute commercial. No one. No one does. So anyway, um, maybe it'll be worth some time. I'm going to try a couple more episodes and see what I think. Um, just my thoughts. It's, as you can see, there's not really anything organized thoughts about this. I just watched it and then pushed record on my phone. So that's how the episode kind of felt like though, where it was just bouncing all over the place and we're meeting new people, but we're really not connecting why they're important. Um, or just kind of thrown into this world with them. But we were also just thrown into their lives before anything happened. So, I don't know how I feel about it. But, eh, La Brea is it worth trying out? Maybe. I don't know. I need a couple more episodes, I think, before I can say or any. I don't really have predictions yet because I honestly don't know. Like, where can we go from here? Like, obviously, like, like the husband's trying to work with the government, and the government seems like they're in on it. Like, they know more than what they're letting on. So that is interesting. I did just remember that. So the government's like, how does he know about this? Or we told the press what they needed to know. They don't need to know everything. Um, they're telling everybody... There's no way anybody survived, but they know that there's like this portal thing. So they know that these people are probably alive. So the government's in on this. We don't even know exactly why or what's going on, but that is an interesting um, twist to it. So it might get better. I don't know. I just can't see us going very far in this just because it's going to be like, okay, we're watching them survive and trying to figure out how to get out and then the people on the opposite side are trying to figure out how to get in to get them out um the government might throw some twists in there somewhere i don't know but it just seems like there's only so much you can do with this idea so i'm like you can have relationships and stuff like that but it just feels like there's not much there but let me know what if you saw it and what you thought um i'll keep checking it out and let you know if anything else good that it comes on Alright guys, it's on Tuesdays at like 9 o'clock, so I stayed up late to watch this. <laughs> um, I'm the kind of person, I'm the age where it's 8.30 and you want to start a movie now age, so yeah. Bye!